Alright, so... Squad B Captain? Excuse me, I have new orders. Yes, what is it? I'll see you in my murder to withdraw at 1900 hours. Withdraw? There's still enemies around. I'm still bored. Then I know I'm just a messenger. Ors take priority. I don't want to miss the vessel. What time did you say? Like I said, blah de blah de blah, 1900 hours at shore. 1900 hours? We only have 30 minutes! Now, this is a timed event, so if you get to the uh, beach within 5 minutes, then you will get uh, more points for your seed exam. Ugh, so we want to do that as fast as possible. Go down. And it, trust me, it's really fucking annoying. Yes, go destroy them now. Okay, this up and coming enemy is quite annoying. Well, when you're trying to get five minutes, this guy can accidentally, well, not accidentally, but he can spam some of his techniques that is really kind of overdramatic and shows too much frame rate. And I think they should not have done that for this enemy, especially when you're trying to get a perfect score. It's kind of bullshit. All right, and here's the enemy, a mechanical robot spider. And that's the reason why I had selfie, um, Try to summon Quetzalcoatl as much as you can. Because this enemy is weak to thunder magic. And luckily, Quetzalcoatl is everything thunder magic related. Okay, summon Quetzalcoatl. Okay, don't mind that. Arm crush, really? Eh, well, it's better than Ray Cannon. One. Okay, Thunderstorm is a little bit over dramatic to use, but I don't really care. Trust me, you have to least cause over 2,000 points of damage before this a hole hits the ground. So, you put a quaddle, will give you most of your um, damage. And this thing starts fucking up. Yep. It's... Is it bucking? Yep, run! Thank god he didn't use Ray Cannon. Yeah, like I said, Ray Cannon is probably the most annoying technique that it has. And during this phase, no enemies will... There will be no random encounters, so you don't have to worry about that. The only enemy... Well... You'll see in a second why it's annoying. The thing recovered. Quickly. Now this is the whole trial of this thing. You just gotta run from the bastard. And this is... I think my third time doing this. Okay. This area. You want to get around this ridge over here, and then you want to run. Because if you don't, you'll actually get tripped up and you'll be thrown into another battle with that thing again. Trust me, you don't want to be thrown into the battle with that again. Okay, that thing jumps down for some damn reason. Just run. Okay. This bridge is usually a very hard point for people. What you do is you wait for it to jump. Hits the ground, run the opposite way. Wait for it to jump, hits the ground, and just run. That's the whole strategy with that part of the fight. Well, it's technically not a fight, it's the strategy to run from it. But once you do that, talk to this dog, you will lose points if you don't do that. Okay. I'm gonna come up to an overdramatic cutscene. 
Uh, crap. Run away. No, I'm not sure if you're supposed to run away from that part of the cutscene, but, uh, who cares? <sighs> really exciting stuff! I know, right? Okay. People get out of the ha Get out of the bar. Squad C, withdraw. Roger. Idiots. Alright, just keep running. What the hell was that noise? I don't know. Ignoring it. Okay, and I got to the beach within five minutes, so I'm gonna get a hundred points on my seed exam. Sweet. And this is probably one of my more favorite cutscenes of the entire game. Damn it, Squall, you're supposed to recover! Ugh. I take martial arts for 11, but he should have ducked and ran and got on his feet instantly, but the idiot didn't do that. So it just makes it a little bit more dramatic, because he is running from death. Really? He's on your ass. And this is going through his mind. Shit, shit, shit. Jump! And machine gun Quistus. Awesome. Did he just glide through the water? I think he did. Whatever, who cares. And Quistus just demolished the crap out of that thing. Replace her... Replace her whip with a machine gun. Jeez. She's one hell of a badass. I don't want to piss her off. Whew. So anyways, that was the seed exam. Quite annoying, by the way. It is probably one of the tougher parts of the beginning of the game because, like I said, you are timed. It is military-based, so you can't talk to people, and basically you have no free range of what you want to do. You just have to do what the orders are said by Cypher, and you should be fine. Alright, but yeah. Cypher! Up oh, is friends. How'd it go? Man, all they did was get in my way. Being a leader ain't easy. Of course it's not! Safe? What do you think? <sighs> Good job. Cypher, being a dick. See you later. Where's Cypher? Uh, he went that way. Eh, who cares? Just be back by garden by sundown. You're free till then. No, we're free. Please don't freeze. I will kill you, computer. And hey! He took our car. Not again, man. There goes Mr. Ego. Eh, might as well walk it. Yeah, garden's not too far anyways. So yeah, this is a short segment, and now basically this is the first point in the game where you're actually free to explore. All the tutorials are over, and you kind of have a little bit more freedom to go explore, do training, whatever. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be good. Now you can start raising your abilities for your GFs and stuff, but it's not necessary right now, but... I will show off a place later on where you can do that, and please don't freeze. Okay. Let's see, what abilities are you learning? Summon a magic? No, hell no. Um, fire magic for fine. Yes. Or, hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna send it to that. Uh, what do you learn? Why needs everybody? Hmm. Boost. Uh, lightning refine. Life refinement. That's cool. What are you learning? Why is everybody learning summoning magic? Oh, screw that. Learn Ness. 
is a lot better. You. Card mod. Perfectly fine. And those are the abilities you basically want to learn. But since there's nothing else to do, I'm just going to go back to the garden. And you want to stay on this path if you want to avoid random encounters. But I will be trying to get the one uh, ability that will help you avoid random encounters completely. And I won't get that uh, for a bit. Alright, so... Alright. <sighs> Finally made it back. Seriously. Oh, well, I guess we just wait for the rest of for the test results. Till then, see ya, Squall. See ya. Yep. Now all you have to do for the test results is go to the second floor near the classroom and wait there, and they'll do an announcement and tell us which people have graduated for the seat exam. Now, for what I did, all of the stuff that I did should give me a good base level seed exam. Which is very good at this point. Ooh, tired. And that will really help us out. And there are other things in the future that will help us out, like... Um, um, there is tests that you can take to raise your seed level, um, so you can get more money. But that's not until much later on. Mission complete. I think we did a pretty good job. The candidates are back safely, right? Although we didn't realize the Galbadian army was after the abandoned communication tower. Yeah, that's kind of a bad thing. And just from the Dalt Dukem. Gabayan Armory has agreed to withdraw as long as the communication tower is repaired and uplink remains operational. Kinda BS in my opinion, but we don't know what it's for. Well, in any, pay any case, Galbadia is out of there. Yes. We could have made more money if they stayed and caused more ruckus. Oh, shut up! We, do we don't need more money. Ugh. Thank you very much. Of course, he's my best student. He's not very social, though. Uh, it'll get a lot better later on. How did it feel out there in the battlefield? Scared. Felt good. Whatever. It doesn't matter which one you choose and won't really um, do anything. But since we're school, whatever. Whatever? That's great! Whatever! I don't know why he says that. It's just like, what are you, Mockingbird? Quest us the results of the exam. Should be sound. Just stick around here. Okay. Let's see. And I think over here we're gonna go need to talk to... I think Cypher's here. He should be. 